Uh, hello everyone, I'm back, and uh, for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, I'm just going to let you know that uh, because Castlevania Aria of Sorrow went horribly with absolutely no progress, uh, I decided to just play Super Mario VIP 4 instead. So, I've actually beaten this game before, I actually 100%ed it, because this is a really good ROM hack, I recommend you guys play it. Um, I'm going to play this because I actually, I just... I just really enjoy it, honestly. Um, okay, so I don't know what the story is for this, but I'm just going to get straight into this. For those of you who have watched a good slew of my videos, you might actually recognize this game as one of the games that I played motion controls with. Um, I also did. I think I also did a stream of this before. Holy cow. Whoa, what the heck's up there? I want that. Too bad I probably won't get it. Anyway... Uh, I'm gonna start explaining the game now. Uh, this was made by a uh, f a community on the internet called Two Chan, and I believe they, I believe Two Chan was the inspiration for what we know today as Four Chan, which is essentially, from what I can tell, an American version of Two Chan. Um, they all worked together to make a Mario hack, basically, and. Uh, they ended up making a huge series of it, and uh, it wasn't until like VIP one was pretty was all right. VIP two was complete shit. VIP three was good, and VIP four is what we're playing right now. And I think this one's one of the best. Like VIP three and VIP four are probably the best overall. Uh, but I've also played a bit of VIP 5, which I kind of... It's, it's alright. And yeah, this game really loves cat emoticons, and I'll be honest, I love them too. <laughs> and I just got all the VIP coins. A terraformer! I got all the VIP coins in the stage! How do you feel about that, buddy? <laughs> you gonna get all the VIP coins too? I challenge you. When you play VIP 4, you gotta get all the VIP coins on stage 1. I bet you can't do it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's continue. Boobity boof. Holy crap, this level starts by giving me a Yoshi. That's actually kind of amazing. Uh, one of the cool things about this game is that uh, some levels actually have custom music. Which, uh, the case in point, this level actually uses Yoshi's Island music. It uses the typical... <laughs> that song. Except this one's actually really nice and soothing sounding. It's it's so it's kind of muted almost. It's got a muted pleasantness to it. Ah, gotta watch out for the dudes. Um, pretty much every enemy in this game is based off a character made by the Two Chan community. They're all like cat things, I guess you could call them. I mean, that would be uh, calling them that is a bit reductive, I admit, but. Uh, that's pretty much the best way to describe them, honestly. Okay. If I was really daring, I would do a... A, uh, Kaizo Mario hack. Or, like, Hyper 6. Yeah, I got more VIP coins! Take that in your pipe and smoke it, Terraformer. A Terraformer? Dude? Person? Just so we're clear, Terraformer, I'm I'm just joking with you, okay? Alright, so no hard feelings. Uh-oh, I lost my Yoshi. Oh, well. I used to be such an enormous fan of Yoshi back in my olden days. But alas, once my hormones have developed, I realized that there were things much grander than dinosaurs that can eat anything. I learned that there were boobies. Or more accurately, hair. I, th I said this in my previous stream, but hair is essentially my equivalent to, to breasts. Because I find hair extremely attractive. And I'm not particularly attracted to breasts, like most men seem to be. I find... Uh, but yeah, enough about that. Every pretty much everybody here fucking knows about my fetish for ridiculously long hair, so... Uh, and to answer you, Game Freak... Um... I just I, I want to make something clear. I'm not attracted to Raisin's rabbit ears. 
Like, I'm actually kind of indifferent to them. I, I could care less if they were there or not. Like, they, I don't feel that they, I mean, okay, they're cute, but I think human ears are just as cute, so, you know. Plus, they're, plus, um, like, they're cute, but they take up negative space and look kind of awkward, which kind of helps in making them look cute, but at the same time, it's like, you know, space conservation, ladies and gentlemen, it actually has an aesthetic appeal. How the fuck did I get hit? I have no idea. Uh, did I intentionally miss a VIP coin? No. Uh, what about your Yoshi's Island question? I didn't see it. I would call them... Did you? Did Yoshi's Island have a secret ending for 100%? No, it didn't. It just said, congratulations, you have no fucking life. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Uh, there are two secret exits with this stage. Um... I believe this, uh, by hitting the switch at the beginning, it changes the level rather drastically, which is, I think is a very creative uh, thing to do on, in this level. Um, well, just a creative way to change a level, rather. Um, there we go. Uh, but basically, you have to get through this stage without the help of the platforms, which means you got to do a lot of Koopa stomping, mostly. Boop, boop, and time for one ups. Yeah! Boop, 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 VIP coin. Yeah, uh, just, just letting you guys know if the VIP coins aren't, like, directly in my range, I'm not gonna bother with them because I just wanna fucking play. And putting in that extra effort just doesn't do much for me. Okay. And now we're up to the midpoint. Okay. This is the part where things get really difficult, actually. Alright. So there's auto-scroll here, by the way. It's about... Yep, right there. Okay. Boop. I think if you press that uh, P-switch a bit later, you can actually get a chance at a 3-up. Yeah, if I did it... Yeah, if I just held out for just a little longer, I would have been able to get up there and possibly get like a one-up, I think. Uh, Auto-scroll in this game, at least for this level, isn't too bad. I actually think it's kind of fun because it doesn't slow the pacing of the level because you're going by rather quickly. And yes, it is a disco ball of light. Secretly, unbeknownst to many people, Bowser is a party maniac, and he loves to disco. Oh, oh, this part's really cool. You actually have to utilize the key to reach, to get past certain parts of the stage by kicking it upwards, and it's actually really tricky. It's But they do it at, the like, the last minute. There's actually a level that will explore this gimmick in much greater detail, and I am actually looking forward to playing it because it's actually one of my favorite levels in this game. Oh, there's Yoshi. Bye, Yoshi. <laughs> Fuck you, Yoshi. <laughs> Stupid horse! Oh, but I can't reach up here. Wait. With the amazing power of Jumping Tim, I can! Everybody, you must thank Jumping Tim now, because he is the one who has graced us with the amazing ability of Ascension. Okay. This level I actually kind of hate, so I think I'm going to just fly over it. Let me just summarize this level. There's a fit. There's a spiked fish dude, and he follows you throughout the entire stage. And that's it. I mean, that's the whole gimmick. And there's this, just this one part where it's just a stretch of water, and all you're doing is running away from the fucker. And it's really annoying. So I, I'm just going to skip this fucking stage. Screen transition! And now we fly again! Thank God the game gave me capes so I can break this. Uh, however, this is not going to become a habit. I don't like breaking levels. It's just I don't like this one. So, fuck that. Uh, no, the fish is not trying to eat Mario. He just damages you. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. That long stretch of land, where, uh, water, where you just run away from him. I think that's fucking annoying. And yes, it is King Slime from Dragon Quest. 
Okay, things are things are going a lot better than they did when I was playing Aria of Sorrow. Oh wow, that was unexpected. I should have known that was gonna happen. God damn it! Stupid game. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I have to guess which one is the. Oh, okay. I gotta guess which one is the blue P switch. Yes. I should probably get in here, actually, before I trap myself. Okay. And let's... You motherfucker. This game's a smartass. Okay. First, well, I, I can grind lives here, actually, but I'm not going to, because I'm not a life grinder, a terraformer. I'm not talking about anyone in specific. A terraformer. Life farmer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta stop being a dick to a terraformer. He does not deserve this. Okay. I hope he's not taking me seriously. Okay. Whoop! Boom! Yeah! I love doing that. Gotta love Boone's pose there. He's like, yeah! I'm the disco jumper. Okay, a terraformer is a let's player on YouTube uh who does Mario hacks. Uh I promoted him in the previous stream actually. Uh he he watches my video, well, he watches my streams rather. And uh he's also the head of a of a of a Super Mario World collaboration hack called Jump, which you can find on the Talk, talk House if you're interested in contributing. Um Mainly, I like if you're gonna watch his videos. I, I, here's some things you gotta watch out for. For one, um, when he's when he's actually focused on the game and not getting killed constantly, he's actually very interesting and and very, uh, like amusing to watch. Like he's very likable. Uh, but when he's like depressed and shit, it tends to translate into his videos and. It makes some for some rather bland watching because then he becomes really just uninvested. But uh yeah, like I I would like it if some people checked him out anyway and tried to give him, you know, a hand. One of the reasons why he makes videos is because he likes he likes it when people comment. So comment as much as possible. Remember this, kids. Okay, so I'm I'm done talking about a terraformer. I don't want to make him... F what the fuck, game? You purposely placed that bullet bill there because you knew I was going to jump right at that time. What the fuck? That's just a dick move. You just fucking costed me a minute or two of progress just because you just wanted to be a fucking dick. Fuck you, game. See, it's I don't like it when rom, when rom hacks do that when they like tr design the level with your movements in mind. Like, look at that shit. I have to see that coming beforehand, or else I'm fucked. That how is that fair? Okay. Anyway, running time, running time, running, running, running time. I'm gonna jump on some stuff, and I'm gonna die. Probably not. Wee Boom. Oh, if I timed that just right, I would have hit the tape. <sighs> you promoted him. You have the right to be a dick to him. No, I don't have a right to be a dick to him. He's a good guy. He's just very emotional. Oh, hey. A zebra Yoshi. Just what I've always wanted! Bye. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna let that joke sink in, and I've got them by the nuts. Watch out for that thing, that's gonna turn me small! Damn it! I hate how Yoshi, uh, how Mario runs faster than his fireballs when he runs at full speed, because then you can't just rush and shoot at the same time. Oh! Here's a funny thing, uh, there is a glitch! In Super Mario World, where if you hit one of these speaker boxes while there is this water here, it'll make it disappear. 
and I'm assuming this text box is taunting you for doing that. Cause this whole level is meant to just be a dick to the player. And then you just die. So some hacks actually take advantage of that. Hello. Bye. When am I getting my first bonus game? Game? Probably soon. Okay, let's see what we got here. A water level. Uh, 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 I don't like water levels. Whining is one of my favorite things to do, by the way. The video freezes every couple of seconds for me, but Mark's voice goes on like normal. Well, that's good. At least you can hear my voice. Someone here doesn't like water levels. Yeah, I don't like water levels, Mr. Coronion. Um, like, it's possible to do them well, but Nintendo, uh, N Nintendo and Mario just never, ever get it right. They always make it slow. And because N Nintendo has such a fucking nostalgia boner and likes to play it safe all the time, they continue to design water levels s uh, with these kind of controls. And it's just not good. It's fucking dumb shit piss stained ass. I'd rather eat a diarrhea buffalo wearing a skunk on his neck. I'd ra- Yeah, okay, enough angry video game nerd imitating. The reason why I'm imitating the Anger Video Game Nerd is because I recently watched some of his videos. Because I, like, I used to watch him all the time, and then I stopped because I was like, you know, he's not as good as he used to be. But then I decided to rewatch his videos to see if that was just nostalgia glasses preventing me from realizing the true potential that he had ascended to. And I'm inclined to agree that the Anger Video Game Nerd was better back in his older days, because... Uh, in his newer videos, uh, there was a point in time, I believe, starting around his Batman reviews, where he started to become very over-the-top about the anger and stuff, and he's always been over-the-top about the anger, but it was all it, it always had a sense of... It was a goofy kind of over-the-top. Now he, he, like, act, he acts, like, genuinely angry, and it's actually kind of awkward. Oh. Well, that's amazing game. Just don't even bother to introduce me to the concept of Monty Moles. You just immediately throw one at the end of the level, no less. Fucking great game design. Okay. Oh, I could talk about the Nostalgia Critic, too. I, I But uh, I will say that I do like the Nostalgia Critic better than, than the Angry Video Game Nerd. Uh, even though his anger is... Not is even less funny and more d bad, but the thing is, is that the anger video game nerd also make. Uh, uh, sorry, the nostalgia critic actually. He's more consistent, I guess you could say, and plus, I feel that his jokes are funnier, just in general. Like his his snide remarks, I guess you could call them, are I, I just enjoy them better. Okay, it's time for... G oh, wait, I know where this P-Switch goes. Sorry for the hold-up, ladies and gentlemen. See, you know, this game's fun. Even if I complain about some of the design decisions, it's still fun. And a lot of Mario hacks don't know how to fucking be fun. A lot of them feel that they need to make every single fucking jump you have to do meaningful. And it's like, why do you have to fucking do that? Alright, you know what, just so that we don't have to stay in this level for much longer, I'm going to save state. Um, normally, I don't use save states when I'm playing a game, but I don't want to hold up the stream for a while. I, I want this to be enjoyable, and I don't want to get angry. So, there you go. Um, so, where was I? Where the fuck was I? I was talking about the Nostalgia Critic and shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait, that's right. People don't fucking know how to design Mario levels. They always have to make every single jump require concentration and thought. And it's like, dude, don't fucking make me think while playing a platforming game. Just let me act on my reflexes. Just make everything flow fast. Don't make it 
so I have to take my time with every single thing. I want to be able to, like, you know, play the level at a pace that I like instead of doing it on your fucking terms. And a lot of and a lot of designers still do this, and it's really goddamn annoying. And when I tell them this is shit, they're like, "No, I don't. F I think it's perfectly fine." Uh, and it pisses me off because people don't fucking they don't listen to feedback, and a lot of times I feel like people don't take me seriously. Uh, because they just don't. A lot of people just don't take my feedback, and it actually makes me feel kind of shitty. Cause it's like, oh, you don't give a shit about me. You you just want to maintain your own fucking like field of reality instead of actually improving yourself. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Anyway, Mario, what Mario Galaxy game do you think is better, one or two? Ah. Uh... That's a hard one. I mean, 2 has more difficult levels, and by the default, I think that makes it, makes it more fun. But it also has a lot of levels that clearly had no effort put into them. Uh, and a lot of levels are just retreads. Like, there's just a lot of fucking retreads and recycled levels, and it's just really not that... That's really my problem with it. And a terraformer, I no, a lot of my complaints aren't arbitrary. People just don't understand uh you just don't understand why they're valid because you're so used to like you and Raukow both are used to playing stuff that's just really janky. No offense, but I just think you're wrong. Uh, what the fuck am I doing here? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't think the stuff I complained about is arbitrary. Uh, for example, I don't think you need to make it blatantly clear that there's an invisible block against the fucking pipe. That's been done a million times, and you could just as easily just make it clear. Like, you could just have the player guess that... The, the thing's there. I mean, it's not like... You don't need to fucking hold the player's hand. But at the same time, you don't have to make things cryptic either. But what you want to do is you want to make the player suspect something. But you don't want to make it so obvious that they, that they think you're fucking holding their hand. <sighs> okay. By the way, that's the boo of this game. He looks kind of horrible. Okay, so I'm going to take this time to talk about Decay of the Fangs. Um, how would you guys feel if I were to drop the playthrough? Because I'm not enjoying it. The gameplay is sh is absolutely abysmal. Alright, what am I doing here? Alright, I'm missing something here. I'm not going to kill you, Mr. Kuro Neon. You have the ki the cat girl avatar. I must not forsake that. Yeah, I I I do admit that I am not enjoying Decay of the Fangs, but like I'm probably like okay, there are some people who have offered to record the next chapters for me. Uh, and I really appreciate that, and if I do get, like, enough help with it, I'll continue the playthrough and do commentary on it. But I, I just don't want to fucking play it. It's so... It's not even the slightest bit fun. It's so boring. I mean, the story and characters are interesting, but what really hurts it is the fact that it's just... The gameplay is too shitty. Uh, okay, I have to figure out how to get that shell down there so I can hit that thing. Question is, how do I do that? There's got to be something I'm missing. Oh, hey, more progress. I don't know what people... Uh, You should do LPs of Fire Emblem Sacred Dawn or do random reclass run of 
I'm not gonna do a reclass run of FE8 or FE7. That's the equivalent of a fucking reskin, and reskins do not interest me. They're just minimum effort hacks that barely change anything about the gameplay and serve no other purpose than to just justify a slightly varied playthrough of the original game. Huh. <sighs> Uh, as for Sacred Dawn, uh, I am playing that game, but I'm not recording it, because, uh, like, I'm pretty sure Mage Knight 404 is kind of sensitive to criticism, so, and I, I gotta, you know, I gotta, you know, be easy on him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still point out the flaws in the game like it's no fucking tomorrow, uh, but, you know, I... I me and Mage Knight 404 are friends, and I I just don't want to provoke any uh, hostility, especially since I um did something a while ago that really upset him, and I just don't want to reopen old wounds, for lack of a better word. I'm going to die here, by the way, possibly. Okay, we're good. I made distance. Uh, have you played Chrono Trigger? No, I haven't played Chrono Trigger. Ah! Focus mark! God fucking damn it. Alright, you know what? I'm not gonna bother with that level. I don't know the fucking solution. Uh, yeah. Uh, Mage Knight 404 was Retsu prayed, but I think the reason why he took that so well was because he had no choice. <laughs> like, I get the impression that he was actually upset when they did riff on his videos, but, uh, but like... You know, if he showed any sort of hostility, that would have just made it worse. So I think he just chose the logical decision and just pretended that he was alright with it. Uh, would FF7 be better? Final Fantasy 7? Or do you mean Fire Emblem 7? And no, it wouldn't be better if you had Nino at the start, because she's really powerful, and that would probably break the game, Game Freak 2020. Wait, I'm doing this level again? Ah, uh, I hate my save states. All right, I'm going to play something else. Be right back.